This one is the RFID based attendance system with the help of this ESP32 microcontroller board. Here I use this RC552 RFID model and they connected to this SPI protocol and I use the SIM 800L GSM module to sending this in and out status SMS and I use this ATL SIM card in SIM 800 GSM module this one is the 5G ATL SIM card but when I put in this SIM 800L GSM module is work on this 2G network okay and here I connected this one PGO buzzer when you punch this card then the buzzer will be little bit sounded okay and I connected to this one LCD module this one is the 16 by 2 LCD display with I2C module now I connect to this 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to separate power supply of the GSM module because the GSM module is not operate this 3.3 volt and 5 volt is required for this 3.7 volt to 4 volt that's why I just connect to this separate power supply to this GSM module and is connected to the one switch when uh, you want to this turn on this GSM module you just select it and if you want to this turn off this GSM module you off it okay here I connected this one jumper wire suppose the whole board operated in this battery supply then you connect it directly like this and you turn on this this whole system operate on this 3.7 volt lithium ion battery through but right now I uploading this code that's time you just remove it and upload this code first and then I will attach it I will just show you how this code will be uploaded and how this project will be work okay or github account okay I will providing this link in the video description if you want you directly download it now I will use the google sheet that's why I just go to this google sheet code first we copy this code and paste in this arduino id software this one is the arduino id software now I will connect this one USB cable to the ESP32 port and the another USB connected to this our computer. Okay, now you go to this tools, select this proper board. See this board I selected. Okay, now go to these tools again, go to this port and select this proper port and this you just paste in your google sheet okay just copy it i will show you where you post paste it see now you creating your google sheet and put this name name see putting this name status in and out status in date in time out date out time okay where you paste this code just go to this extension and click this app script and you Paste the code here and just deploy it okay and your google sheet li looking like this now the google sheet script will be uh, pasted just require this few, few library to add it okay i will providing this library also you just download in this zip file rfid rst pin and ss pin i mean this chip select pin will connect to pin number two and RST pin connected to this pin number 15. Okay, the buzzer will be connected to this pin number 25. And this one is the Wi Fi LED. I mean, when your Wi Fi will be connected, then the LED will be glow. When if we, if the Wi Fi will be not connected, then LED will be not glow. Like that, the same working on this GSM is connected to this pin number 26. When the GSM getting the signal, then the 26 LED turn on. And if the GSM not getting the signal, then the 26 pin number LED will be not on okay and the gsm module will be connected to this uart 2 i mean this pin number 16 and 17 here you just put your wi-fi username and password okay and you put this U url here see the script google you putting this url here okay i mean this google sheet url just go to this student details dot h file and you paste it all this detail here like rfid card number your name your mobile number okay three parameter you require to put it here i will show you how to you find out this card number see now i already select this board and select this port also now i try to upload this code now the code will be try to upload it the hundred percent will be completed code will be uploaded just turn on the serial monitor see the ip address will be display i mean the, your wi-fi will be connected properly 
and its time synchronization i mean is take uh, response for the gsa model it turn on this gsa model switch now the gsa model will be also ready we scan this first card see when i scan it is display this card uid okay just copy it and paste it this student details dot s anywhere suppose if you want to create the more student data then you also create it i paste it here like name is the rehan and again i upload this code now the code will be uploaded and is gsm and this wi-fi will be connected gsm model will also find out the signal its display will be display this scan rfid card now i scan this rfid card see is the rehan in and after the few seconds, the GSM sending this text SMS. See the SMS will be received. Hello Rehan, you have check in proper date and time. Excel cell will be updated. Name is Rehan, a status will be in, and in date, in time will be updated. Okay. Now I scan this card again, same card, Rehan card. And is display Rihan out? Wait for the SMS. See the SMS will be received. Hello Rihan, you have check out twenty five. I mean this date and proper time. Now we check this Excel sheet. See the Excel sheet will be also update. Name is Rihan. Status will be out. Out date and out time will be displayed. I mean is updating properly. Now suppose if I scan the unauthorized card, I mean the card number will be not put in this code and I try to scan it, see it's display this unknown card and suppose I put this registered card, I mean the, I already registered in this code and I scan it, display mala in and it's sending this SMS, see the SMS will be received, also the uh, Excel sheet will be updated. Mala in proper date and time. Okay, suppose uh, the Rihan will be in and out. Okay, and suppose if try to scan the same card in a one day, it display already checked in today. I mean, the one day is only one in and out allowed. Now I scan this Mala out will be display after the few seconds. The GSM sending this text SMS. See, we receive this SMS, and when I try to scan this Mala card again, then it's display already check in today. I mean, the one day only one in and one out will be allowed. Okay, the code and the circuit diagram available in my GitHub account, and the link available in this video description. If you want, then please check out.